to maximize the miracle power of divine visitation, one of the forces needed is an altar of sacrifice as may be inspired by God. One day, God said to me, My son, give me that car. And joy welled up in my heart because I heard from God. And I said to my wife, God just said he has a need of that car. And she said, praise the Lord, as she would say all the time. And so the car went up to Leventis and they went forever. And then, on my way home, the voice of his majesty sounded from heaven. My son, David. Even if you don't want to be rich, it's too late. That was in May 1987. Even if you don't want to be rich, it's too late. That sacrifice aroused God on his throne in heaven. He said, I am the Lord, I chain not. Gather my saints together unto me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and I will manifest myself to them. 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 God is never in need. He only devises avenues through which our blessings can flow to us. We can maximize the miracle power of divine visitation by sacrifice. Abraham took Isaac to the altar of sacrifice and God responded same hour. By myself have I sworn, said the Lord. He spoke to him first time, so to him the second time. He, he was restless by the sacrifice of Abraham. In blessing, I'll bless you, multiply, will multiply thy seed as the sun does by the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gates of their enemies. <laughs> and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. I mean, transgenerational blessings provoked by sacrifice. I can tell you this. Sacrifice is one of the ways we maximize the miracle power of visitation, divine visitation. Now, talking about maximizing the miracle power of divine visitation in the first service, I talked about violent faith. Second service, violent prayers. Third service, violent praise. And this service, violent sacrifice. Sacrifice that touches you in value. Let's look at two quick blessings of divine visitation. One supernatural favor. Come on, say supernatural favor. Say with me, supernatural favor. Supernatural favor. When God visited Egypt to bring Israel out, one of the immediate blessings invoked on Israel was a blessing of favor. So I will give these people favor. In the sight of the Egyptians, Exodus 3, 21, so that when they go, they will not go away empty. Today must mark the end of emptiness in your life. So that when they go, they will not go empty. Empty. And Exodus 12, 36, God confirmed the word. And they left the land and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they lent unto them as much as they would and as much as they required and they spoiled the Egyptians. God confirmed his word of supernatural favor by this divine visitation. I'm launching you into a world of supernatural favor. Somebody believe that. Say it with all your heart. Say it with all your heart. Shout it with all your heart. Every destiny is a product of 
the divine favor available to it. It is grace that makes great. And grace is divine favor. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. No one can be greater than the grace available to him. And when God came down, grace was made manifest. Divine favor answered. Misfortune was overturned. And Israel became the envy of the time. Can I tell you this? By this divine visitation, every air of misfortune around your life is turned to a testimony. Divine favor will give you your own husband. It will give you your own wife. For he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and has obtained favor from the Lord. Divine favor will make you stand out. He said, Oh Lord, by thy favor that has made my mountain to stand out. You become outstanding among your, your peers. That's divine favor. Somebody's rising up. God is changing your story dramatically. Things are turning around in your favor. Covenant University began nine years ago. And from the first year, it just began blazing the tray, all kinds of accolades here and there, all kinds of honor everywhere. Like I mentioned in the last service, this week we are hosting all vice chancellors in Nigeria of federal, state, and private universities. All. They're having their conference on this ground. Only within nine years. Nothing is permitted to be stagnated in your life again. Supernatural favor is one of the core blessings of divine visitation. Every time God comes down, favor flows freely. Every time God comes down, favor flows freely. I see favor flowing freely all over your life from henceforth. <laughs> Benefits of divine visitation, number two. Supernatural transformation. Say to supernatural transformation. Supernatural transformation. And the Lord visited Sarah. As he has said. Everyone in this service this afternoon, take a piece of paper. Whatever is contrary to perfect soundness in your body, perfect soundness. In your body, whatever is contrary to perfect soundness, that can you be said to be perfectly sound? He said, except this knee that troubles me once a while. That's not allowed, that's illegal. Except, you know, this malaria that comes in once a while, and I have some treatment that seems to be very effective, but I have to be on it every time. That's not normal. That's not normal. You are entitled to perfect soundness. Your ears and hearing must remain sound. Your sight must remain sound. Your legs must remain sound. The organs of your body must remain sound. So whatever is unsound in your system is illegal. Write it down by name. Call it by... If you don't know the name, they call it in science. Call it the name you know it to be in your body. This pain in my nerve, drop. You must drop. Enough is enough. This stiff neck that seems to be dangling here and there and won't let me be free. Enough is enough. Just mark it. Name it. And God will nail it because he already nailed it to the cross. Whatever you write today, you never see it again in your life. 
Because what divine visitation does is to present to an open check. What do I call it? Divine visitation presents you an open check. After Bartimaeus cried and cried, Jesus stood still. I call him here. What do you want me to do for you? That's open check. Mark 10, 46 to 52. Divine pre visitation presents you an open check. Open check. Open check. Stop coping. Jesus came not that you should cope. He came that you may have life and have it in its perfect form. Life at its enviable frequency. That's what Jesus came for. People are supposed to be envious of the hand of God on your life. So whatever makes them pity you is illegal. It is not right. It is not permitted. It must be rejected. Please understand what I'm talking about. That's what divine visitation does. It presents you an open check into your inheritance. Open check. Open check. Jesus already fully paid the price. You are entitled to total health care. Total health delivery. You are entitled to total health as a lifestyle. The price has been fully paid. Your total health has been fully sealed. It is now your faith that will deliver it. Can I hear your loudest amen? Today is the last time you will waste your resources on your health. Somebody believes that. Let me hear your loudest amen. Some five ministers wrote me from Haiti, and I got the letter yesterday night, and they came across some of the books. And then one of them was sick and took the book, Understanding the Anointing. Before he was through with the introduction, he was healed. Before he was through with the introduction, he was healed. So the five of them wrote a letter and signed it. I said, well, we want you to know you have five disciples here in Haiti. Now they are all ministers of the gospel. Now you are here alive. What could be your reason under heaven? To be coping with headache, chest pain, back pain, stiffness? What? In the first service today, an Elijah was here who was healed of cancer of the throat. Cancer of the throat. By one touch. By one touch. You don't have any reason to carry any plague in your body. And can I tell you this? It will take a reaction to qualify for a divine intervention. It will take what? A reaction. If you settle with it, it will settle with you. You don't settle with what you don't want. You reject it. Not just reject, you reject violently. You get on a violent frequency, violent faith, violent prayer, violent praise, violent sacrifice. And you free yourself by force. Somebody is free. Somebody is free. Divine visitation offers instant intervention. That was the order all through scriptures. Jesus came and was preaching the kingdom in all their synagogues and healing all manner. That's a scripture for the month. Matthew 4, 23. All manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Every of his visitation was provoking instant intervention. And Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So every time he arrives in a place, instant intervention becomes the order of the day. Therefore, every growth on your body, every terminal disease, cancer, HIV, AIDS, name it, every malfunctioning organ in your body, it's not permitted, it's not of God, and must not be allowed to stay. I therefore curse them from the roots in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You've written those things, put them underneath your seat for a moment. Put them underneath your seat. You have laid it down and it must be swallowed up in victory. Yeah. You'll never see those things again in your body. Yeah. I'm beginning from this very hour. Yeah. Beginning from this very hour. Yeah. Listen to this. Divine visitation presents you with an open check. Somebody's here believing God for miracle children. On this covenant day of fruitfulness, would you also take a piece of paper 
and write what kind of child or children are you looking for. Anna was specific. Most of us don't get answer because we are not specific. Every kind of children you desire, as the Lord liveth, is giving them to you as you have desired them. Say with me, God has more than enough. So he has no problem giving me what I desire. Thank you, Jesus. Is somebody blessed this afternoon? Give the Lord a shout of praise.